What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at some mod hub mods. Uh, some of these mods are available for everybody, PC, console, and Mac. Uh, we've got a couple mods that are just PC, Mac only. Just be aware of that. I'll try to give you the heads up on which ones are which. Alright, so let's dive into this guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you've not already done so. Let's get into it. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. Alright, so I thought I'd start off over with some placeable mods here to begin with since I don't usually do it that way. But uh, yeah, so first off, we've got some greenhouses. These are available for everybody. Now this one on the right is a tomato greenhouse. This was available for everybody uh, a little while ago now, maybe a couple weeks back. This came out and I believe there was a lettuce, uh, a lettuce greenhouse that also came out with this one. So this is what it kind of looks like, so you have an idea. Now we also got a new tomato greenhouse today, which is this one. So this is the new tomato greenhouse we received uh, today. Opens up and go inside. Take a look around at your lovely tomatoes. I don't know if maybe if we added manure, if we'd actually get some fresh tomatoes on here. Uh, not sure. Anyways, prices are the same. Uh, it's 25 grand to purchase, and then you will get $60 an hour, I believe, on this one, which is the same as the old one. So really, it just comes down to pre preference and style. Uh, yeah, they're identical as far as that goes. The only thing is, I can't go in this one. I can go in the new one. And I really like that. I think that's cool. Um, also, with the greenhouses, we got a cucumber greenhouse. There we go. We can take a look inside there. That's as close as you can get to the greenhouse for this one, unfortunately. Uh, walk around it quickly. There's no doors on the back, and you can't walk in the front, which is too bad. But this one uh, is only... Nine thousand dollars to purchase. Where those are twenty-five, the, the cucumber one is nine thousand dollars. I don't think I can open this. No, I can't. Thought I could for some reason. Anyways, nine thousand dollars. It will give you fifty-seven dollars an hour, uh, but it only has seven dollars in maintenance. And these ones have ten. So, you know what? The cucumbers really don't sound like a bad deal. That's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good deal for the difference in price. Anyways, so that's uh, it for the. Those placeables, like I said, they're both available. These are all available for console and Mac and PC. Um, also for all, we received this little traffic pack. So you got some barriers, some pylons. Uh, you could make these look interesting, I'm sure, on some of your farm areas if you need to. Maybe block some traffic off. I don't know if we throw it on the road what would happen, but it might be worth a shot. Anyway, so once again, these are all available in your decorations. I believe it's decorations uh, for everybody as well. Now, let's move on to some PC-only mods, guys. Uh, first of all are these little this little pack here. It's essentially a spot where you can dump your grain on the ground. It just kind of stacks into a corner. It's kind of like a mini silo. So you've got one maybe into a hillside here you can put off. Uh, or this one here is obviously a bunker. Very similar to your silo, your silage bunkers. However, this one is more designed for grain and that type of stuff, I suppose. You know what? I've seen these more for uh, like gravel and dirt and stuff. It's interesting. I've never seen anyone use grain in this type of a silo or just kind of a bunker before. Interesting. So we have these two packs. Uh, we could find those, and this is for PC only, I should mention. I believe it's in your silos here. Let's see if we can find them quickly here. Here we go. They look like uh, Lego blocks, so bulk space, small. Yeah, we've got the two, $1,800 and $3,000 respectively. That's the two of them. And then last of all, we have a new silo. It's actually a really nice looking silo here. Um, I don't know what the name of this one is. It doesn't really give me it's just a large silo. Looks very nice though. I'll take a look at this one in the store as well. I'm going to find this one. I know it's a little bit further down than the rest. Uh, there we go. Grain silo Nero, I guess. Um, it takes most of your normal veg vegetables or uh, normal grains. 200,000 liters, $16 a day. Price is 120000 So, um, yeah, nice looking silo for sure. All right, let's move on to some of the equipment here. I've got them all parked over at the shop across the street. I'll meet you over there. So let's start by talking about the uh, mods for PC and Mac and console. So for the, the mods for everyone essentially here. Uh, let's start off with the back here. We have this Amazon uh, sprayer, sprayer, fertilizer, uh, spreader. Anyways, <laughs> the Z ZGB 5500 Ultra Hydro. Uh, we'll take a look at this one. I do like having more of these style of spreaders uh, in game. This is something we don't have a lot of yet. And uh, it's definitely a cool mod to have. We'll take a quick look at this one in the store here quickly. Uh, you're obviously going to find this underneath your, where is it, fertilizer technology. And we're going to scroll down a little bit, and you're going to find it uh, at $38,000, 26 meter spread. And you do have options for capacity. So you have the 5,500, which is 5,500 liters, of course, up to 8,200, which is going to add another $10,000. Uh, you got some options for wheels. 
and both of those have options for wide wheels or narrows as well so there's narrows for michelins uh if we go to the trelleborg you can go to narrows as well very cool very cool um no color options nothing like that you just have options for size and tires that is it so you're looking 48,000, 38, 38 to 48,000, depending on kind of what you want to go for there. Um, I do really like having another one of these available in game. I, yeah, this one looks great as well. Awesome. Um, actually, the one thing I did want to check out on this, does it allow lime as well? Yeah, so this one does fertilizer and lime. That's always kind of key. I find it because the other ones do, yeah, they do as well. There's certain ones that do not, such as the uh, the smaller agro matrix. That one only does fertilizer and same with uh, the base coon. So just making sure they do both for me is kind of a, a big deal. Um, let's move along here. We got a couple of bale trailers. Uh, first of all, the Flegal flat deck. This is the 180, I believe. Nice looking flat deck trailer. It's got a few options. Uh, very straightforward flat deck trailer. I do like a normal flat deck trailer. Nothing wrong with this at all. It's got some straps. You can see we can put the straps down uh, on our equipment or our bales, whatever we happen to put on it. Let's take a quick look at that. You're going to find that underneath baling technology. Uh, let's see if I can find this near the end here. Where is it? There she is. The TPS 180, $15,000. Uh, you've got some options for wheels, wide tires and standards. And then as well for your colors, you have some options there. You can do your main color and you can also do uh, a trim color. You can see there. And we have options for rim, rim colors as well. Oh, wow, that's ugly. <laughs> Maybe black. Um, so you're totally going to be around 15,000. The options add up a little bit, not a whole heck of a lot, but 16.3 is maxed out. I think that's uh, good enough for that trailer. Not bad. Next up is something else I wanted to quickly look at that I found really interesting. This here bale trailer for round bales, the uh, Lizard TR10. Very cool looking trailer. Nice and easy to load round bales on since it's got all the posts here. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Now, let's take a quick look inside the shop at this quickly here. Once again, you're going to find that under your bailing technologies. Now, if I scroll down to it, I assume when it was TR10, that it'd be a 10 bale uh, uh, round bale carrier. It actually holds 12, is what they're saying. Um, I'm not sure where the TR10 comes from. Anyways, yeah, six per side, it looks like to me. Anyway, so you're looking at 17,500, zero options with this particular trailer. But it got me thinking, okay, it says it holds 12 bales. Interesting. 12 bales, that's it? I don't know if I buy that. So I don't know how many bales this is, but this is a lot more than 12. <laughs> I had really no problem loading this. Um, the straps go kind of funky. It's interesting the way the straps work when you strap them on. It's weird, but um, it works perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see the straps are all over the place. Now, I guess it's not meant to be lo double loaded like this, but it really has no problem handling it. Let's jump into the tractor here. <laughs> 12 bales, come on. Who's going to do that? We got work to do. Look at this. Yeah, we're not going to 12 bale this. This has got to be, this is probably closer to 30 on here right now. I can turn around here. Without hitting this pole, get around, nice, there we go. Um, it is a little unstable, but it handles it. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't do that. So yeah, it does work. Um, I think 12 bales might be a suggestion. You can at least double that up, not a problem. Just take her easy, you should be good. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, no problem whatsoever, even with straps off. Nice. Anyways, guys, that's the Lizard uh, TR10, supposed 12 Lizard ba or Bale Trailer. Yeah. I think you guys can fit more than 12 on there. Go to town. The only issue I had uh, is trying to strap bales on individually. If you try to get in here and undo these now, it doesn't really let you. I can't really... It's it's really tough for a lot of them. I got into that one. Can I get to the other one, next one? Actually, it's not so bad right now. Maybe just where they are. I was having an issue earlier where I was not able to get in and, and get to the straps, depending on where they were. Um, but this doesn't seem that bad for some of these ones that are kind of in the inside. Anyways, that's enough about that. Pretty cool little trailer. I really like it. I wish it was an auto load, but uh, you know what? For a manual load trailer, not bad. All right, so the last thing that we want to talk about here, move this tractor out of the way. We'll leave that there for now. The Alpego RE300. Let's see, it's right in behind here, this yellow uh, motorized 
cultivator. Oh, watch out. There we go. Kaboom. So this is it right here. Uh, let's go take a look at it in the shop quickly. So that's under your peril, power harrowers, of course. The RE300, it's gonna cost you 15 grand. Um, now it comes stock like this, or you can get an attacher put on the back of it. And that's really kind of cool. So this will allow us to connect another implement in behind it. Um, there's no other options with this. Your total price will be 15 or 16 grand, depending whether or not you have this or not. It only has a three meter width. So it's more of an entry level or a small field type harrower. But most of the harrowers are about the same size anyway. There's not many that are, I think they're all, I think they're all three meters, aren't they? Um, but it will, this one will allow us to go and connect a three meter cedar to it as well. So now we can cultivate and we can seed at the same time with one of our base cedars, which is very cool. Look at that. Now you can double up. And you know what? I do like uh, multitasking. This is very cool. This is a cool way of doing it, uh, especially on some smaller fields. Obviously some big fields, this may not be the right apparatus for you. But for smaller fields, why not? That's very cool. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. That's all the new mods. Uh, for the most part, we did get a log shield, and there was a bunch of updates for uh, some various mods. You can check those out in the Mod Hub if you wish. Of course, uh, yeah, download them, the ones you're looking for. Hope you guys have found this useful. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you're not a subscriber already, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.